Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Pete Bouchard. Some would argue this is the perfect time of year. Just cool enough, we're not into winter just yet. This is everybody's favorite season, right? Some love it, that's for sure. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, we know that. The leaves are changing, and why are they doing that, you ask? Well, it's a process that's been going on for millions of years, and it's all about the trees and the shorter day length. You know that already. But there are chemical reactions going on within the tree. The tree is producing food. It keeps the leaves green thanks to the sunlight and photosynthesis. I'm not going to give you the full diatribe on it. But as we go into autumn, the shorter days trigger the tree to go into hibernation. And what happens is chemical reactions within that tree cause the leaves to change. It's not all about the sunlight. You need ideal conditions for that. But the summer is fading and also the temperatures are cooling. Now late summer when it's really, really cool and also into autumn when we get our first frost, that can make that color accelerate. But chemical reactions going on create the colors essentially. Now we usually see the yellows and the oranges thanks to the shorter day length and the lack of chlorophyll, but the red is actually produced. There's some funny names down at the bottom of the tree, the base of the tree there that you can read and try to pronounce. I'm not going to try that. Now, we look ahead and we say, well, what's going to happen this fall? Well, typically you look at your summer pattern. If it's really dry late summer or just dry enough, it can create vibrant color. If it's too dry, then the leaves will drop off the trees and we won't have much of anything. But also the frost. If we don't have enough cool days or cool nights, we won't get those vibrant reds. The oranges and the yellows will come, but the reds are what really, really sets the tree on fire. Some of those maple trees we know. And also, Arguably, there are two peaks in New England, too. Sometimes those maples go first with the birches and the aspen. They wait with the oaks. The oaks go late, too. So, you know, you can get bursts of color in one week and then make, you wait another couple of weeks right before Thanksgiving near the coastline and things look pretty. Foliage report so far this year. Wow, they're saying it's the best in years across northern New England. The trees are happy. We've had some rainfall. Everything's looking golden. And we're at peak this holiday weekend in northern New England. Burlington to Bangor and all the way up to Rangeley. Some of my favorite routes, Route 2, 116 in northern New Hampshire. Route 2 goes <laughs> essentially from Burlington all the way to Bangor. What a treat. And then we have some great color in northern Mass, too, and southern New Hampshire, southern Maine as well. We're getting close to peak along 95 out through 190 and 290 in outermost Route 2. Some of the pictures coming in are spectacular. Mark Lauder hand. He's not only got the hand, he's got the eye, too. Look at this beautiful picture from Loon Mountain Resort. This was from this week. And also Mount Katura, one of my favorite hikes. You can see this. NortheastSkies.com. Some beautiful pictures coming in. Enjoy yourselves, be safe, and enjoy the leaves. Have a great fall, everyone.